What's going on guys? In this video, we're going to show you how to stop gun tight or gun compression. Uh, gun compression is one of the best offenses that people are using this year. This gun tight offense is so tough um, in Madden 22 because of how, really how bad uh, cover three is at this point in the season. So we're going to dive into this and we're going to go over some concepts that you can do out of the gun, uh, out of the gun tight. And we're going to show you some defenses uh, that you can use that will basically slow this down, if not borderline, just bag uh, the entire thing. So I got you know kind of some good concepts here uh, to be able to pass out of. I'm in the C or the Tampa Bay playbook, but anyways, let's just dive into it now. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do videos like this every single day that can help you get better on both sides of the ball. And we're going to be utilizing two defenses. So we're going to grab, we're going to put the the Tampa two or the Cover two sink in our audibles. We're also going to have access to the Cover six, and then I personally like to have um, the Cover four drop in case i need to go to that as well okay so uh, we're going to start out with this with a cover six look uh, in terms of defending this and i want to first and foremost really hit on a couple things with cover six this year so uh what i like to do is i actually like to turn my auto flip off because if you take a look at this you're going to notice that we aren't in a good position to that right side there's three receivers to the right side yet we're running with our blitz to the right side so i like to go ahead and head into the coaching adjustments um, in practice mode, you have to do this in game options, but I like to do this um, just to kind of could be able to control the narrative. With gun tight, it's easy, in my opinion, to get yourself in a bad position, especially if you're running match coverage. So turn auto flip off, and what you want to do is you want to come out with your play. You're just flipping the play to the wide side of the field. So if the wide side of the field is on the right, you're going to flip it. If the wide side of the field is on the left, you're going to keep it like this. So we want to run a cover four uh, to the wide side and cover two to the short side. So you're going to see here, this is kind of what the defense is going to look like. Now, that being said, it's going to change entirely the narrative in terms of how these coverages are going to play off of each other. So what we're going to note, first and foremost show you is I want to show you the play bench. Uh, that's kind of where everything starts. And we're going to use, I think we can do that just from the first play. We're in corners here. Um, and we're just going to use two corners and two out routes. And I just want to, we're just going to watch this in instant replay. And I just want to show you how this goes. See here the pressure screams. And if you take a look here, we actually aren't in too bad of a shape. So let me jump into instant replay. And this is why I like to run cover four to the wide side of the field. If you run cover four to the short side, uh, you're going to find that these corner routes are going to kill you. So if you take a look here, you see good defense on the corner routes on the right side. Now on the left side, um, the soft squat and the and that, it doesn't do a great job. So we got to do some adjusting on that and kind of clean that up. But you see here, the right side is taken care of. We can really trust the right side in this year's game, in my opinion, to take care of most of the stuff to the wide side of the field. So if they're running concepts to the wide side, you're going to be in a decent, uh, decent spot. Please notice this concept here on the left. So I want to show you the same defense, but we're going to run this now. This other concept on the left, and then we're going to start adjusting this in just a second. But take a look at this. So you've got your coverage. Snap the ball. And what you should see is that squares wide open and triangle, or they're both wide open. And obviously, your pressure is coming in because you've got the best defense, um, the best blitz in Madden right now. Um, it's super simple to set up. All you do is spread your line, crash your line uh, to the right. But take a look at this. You're going to see we're kind of in trouble. Okay, we're kind of in trouble. So how do we combat that? What are some things we can do? Well, a couple of things we can do. The first thing that we can do is we can simply man him up. So what I like to do is I'll take, I'll typically take um, this guy right here and I'll man him up on the outside receiver. And the reason I like to man him up on the outside receiver is so that I can put this guy in a cloud flat and you'll see this cloud flat will get a decent level of depth. Okay, then we're going to just drop this linebacker on the on the right side into a blitz, and we're going to drop that defensive end on the right into a three wreck. Now, let's take a look at that same concept, and now I can basically help on that concept. So I'm over here, but if you take a look at this, you see the soft squat do a really good job, or the cloud flat and the deep half are able to take this away. Obviously, the pressure is screaming in, so they're not going to have a ton of time to be able to make this, to make this read, but that is something that we can uh, accomplish. Now, I grabbed the Bucks because I want to show you what it looks like if they were to run something like a double crosser with two streaks. And I just want to show the concept. So we're going to kind of run that same coverage. And then I'm just going to sit in the middle of the field and I want you to see what happens. So again, we're just going to man him up. I'm going to put this guy um, in a middle third just to mimic my user. 
and then we'll just roll with that. So here's your concept here. I just want to show you these crossers. What you'll see on these crossers is this right one will get wide open, okay? So we got to deal with that. That's our user responsibility on this play. Uh, what, I, what I also noticed, though, if you take a look back again, take a look at this coverage. You're going to see here that the inside quarter takes the tight end for the most part. I didn't put a cloud flat out there, but if I put a cloud flat, that takes that away. So, again, this is where you're in this, this kind of unique situation defensively where if there's a crosser from left to right, and I mean left to right, so um, or from short side to wide side, right, if we were going to flip it, then make sure that you're guarding him with your user. Make sure you're guarding him with the user. So you'll see here that if I man this guy up onto triangle, just to mimic a cross man type of situation on the concept, I'm not really trying to, you know, get too lost here, but I just want to show... Whoops, let me get this guy on the right guy here. There we go. And then I three rec hook. Now I want you to now I want you to watch the same concept. So we're gonna do two crossers, two streaks, maybe a check down, and then watch this. Now you see tight end crosser completely bagged. So we're able to take that away. So all we have to do, and really this is kind of the trick, and I think this is the secret sauce of tight. You gotta know the guy that you need to guard. And the guy that you need to guard in tight is actually the left slot, whether they're flipped or not. It doesn't matter if they're flipped or not. You're guarding the left slot. So the other thing you could do if you wanted to is you would man him up. If you want to try that, you certainly can. I'm not saying it's going to work every time. Because there's some concepts um, out of this that are really, you know, a little bit deeper posts. Um, or like this Buck Seams play where that can cause some, you know, you know, you're just going to see how this works. So uh, anyways, this, this concept right here is really not bad. Um, if you man up that inside slot, that will help, but it doesn't stop anything necessarily. That's why I like to just man the outside slot up. But as you see here, you see that cross man assignment, do a decent job on that post or on that, um, on that corner route. Okay. Now if they motion, really, 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 really important. So let's say they motion, and let's say they motion this guy to the right side. Well, now what they've done is they've created trips to the right, okay? Clear, be clear, they've created trips to the right. So we're good in terms of our quarters. We don't have to flip the play or anything. That's fine. We're going to run the same exact concept. Nothing changes. We've manned up on, on triangle here, and now you're going to see... We're going to play pretty solid defense. Pretty much nothing is open if you actually look at it. So uh, to me, this is right now the best gun tight defense that I've been able to find. Really the big thing you got to do though is let me show you really clearly. If they motion this guy this way, please flip your play. Please flip your play. It's super important. So just flip your play and then run the same adjustments on this side of the field, and you'll see we've got really good coverage. We're able to take away pretty much everything. That And your responsibility now really shifts to that solo receiver. Um, you know, but if they mo if they motion like Gronk, really, really important. They motion Gronk. Okay, you're flipping. Everything's flipping for the defense now, right? Just simple like this. The other thing you can do against tight this year is it actually is very good to base align your coverage. If you base on your coverage, um, that does help the defense. But anyways, as you see there, that's pretty solid coverage across the board. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get my complete 335 odd defensive guide, there's a link in the description down below. You can get it for just 15 bucks. It's the best defense in the game right now. It covers so much of this field and really does help you actually get some stops. Your defenders react a lot better in match this year than they do in zone coverage, and it really acts a lot better in cover six, in my opinion. So if you want to get the full defense, learn all the pressures, learn how to stop, get stops in the red zone, learn how to stop every offense in Madden 22, I would encourage you to get it. There's a link in the description down below where you can get the guide for just 15 bucks. All you got to do is head down to the description, click the website link down there, and we'll get you squared away within five minutes and get that defensive guide in your hands.